by Nathan Bryan and Dapo Adiola. Tomorrow is my favourite day of the week. It's New Book Day. Every Friday after school, Mum, Jamal, he's my big brother, and I go to the library to borrow our new books for the week. Did you know there are over 2 million new books published every year? I read more books than anyone else in my family. I used to find reading difficult, but the more I do it, the better I get. Jamal says I eat books for breakfast, lunch and dinner, but the thought of eating books is gross. Ugh! Jamal says he likes books about history, but we only ever see him reading books about romance. I love all kinds of books. Books that teach me unbelievable facts. Books that take me on adventures. And books about great people who change the world. I've just been reading all about Rosa Parks. Did you know Rosa Parks led a famous protest? She had been told to give up her seat on the bus to a white man just because of the colour of her skin and she said no. The library is in a huge building that used to be a theatre. It's a bit old and dusty but I love it. There are books everywhere. The library is mainly for quiet reading, but sometimes authors and illustrators come to read stories and then it can get quite noisy. Today, Layla, the librarian, hands me a book she thinks I'll love. She always has the best recommendations. She also gives me a party invitation. I love parties. But Layla says it's a goodbye party. There isn't enough money to keep the library open, so it has to close down. Oh no! The next day, everybody goes to the library closing party. But it doesn't feel like a party. There is food, but no one's eating. There are books, but no one's reading. Everyone just looks sad. Nobody wants the library to close. There must be something we can do. On Monday at school, I start speaking up about libraries and how brilliant they are. Did you know there have been libraries for over 5,000 years? Did you know one overdue library book was returned after 288 years? Did you know there's a library in Portugal with a family of bats that eat the book damaged books? By the end of the day, everyone in my class wants to stop the library from closing too. But what do we do? What can we do? We need to speak up. But how? I've got it. We'll have a peaceful protest like Rosa Parks did. We work together to get prepared and spread the word. Our teachers, our parents and Layla the librarian all help. And by the weekend, we're ready to go. Save our library! Lots of people join our peaceful protest outside the library. They're all wearing my favourite outfits. We look amazing! We're so loud we can probably be heard from the moon! With everyone speaking up, 
together. Surely someone will listen. After the peaceful protest, there is good news and bad news. The good news is that everyone is talking about our protest. It's even on the TV and the internet. The bad news is that day after day after day, nothing has changed. The library is still closing. What was the point? But one day the post comes. No one ever sends me letters. And it's not just one or two. There are hundreds. They're from people who saw the peaceful protest. And they're amazing. Dear Rocket, I saw your protest from my bedroom window the other day and I was super inspired by how you got everyone in the community to care about the library. The library is one of my favourite places in the whole world and I want to help you save it. Noah. While I'm reading the letters, the doorbell rings. And it's the mayor of our whole town. She explains that people around the world were inspired by our protest and lots of them have given money to help save the library. She thanks me for speaking up and gives me an invitation to a celebration. This sounds like a party I definitely want to go to. The library celebration is awesome. The mayor tells us that enough money was raised to refurbish the library and buy lots of new books. There's food and everyone's eating. There are books and everyone's reading. Suddenly we hear a loud beep. What's that? It's Layla, the librarian, with a huge bus. The money people raised also helped to buy a new travelling library that lives in the bus. Layla says we can all help out, bringing books to people everywhere. I'm so proud of you, Rocket, says Mum. Never stop speaking up. I'm proud of me too and of everyone. I'm so glad we all spoke up together. Did you know, one day you're going to write a book that changes the world and people will read it in the library. Thanks for watching. Love to read with Miss Ellis. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment. Take care. Bye for now.